Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to another one of my videos. And in today's video, we're going to be going over the Zap Lalo attack strategy at Town Hall 11. If that sounds like fun to you guys, let's get into it. Now, the first attack strategy I want to go over is going to be this one done by only 99% for Angel's back. This was actually the NDL Lightweight Division Finals. And he started off by zapping out uh, whatever was on that left side. It was creating a nice funnel. Zapped out that queen very importantly. Took out a couple expos. All that done uh, using... Five lightning spells and one earthquake spell and now once you zap that out which his purpose is to take down some valuables and create some nice pathing i mean and so now he has a sui hero walking down which is gonna be the next portion of the attack the king and the queen is called the sui hero if you didn't know and he is just gonna be walking down creating some nicer pathing getting some more value and the king's ability is gonna get used right now thus forcing the queen to actually kind of go inside of that compartment or maybe not to be honest yeah, she gets forced inside of that compartment right there and the king and the queen in combination keep you know getting value together now oftentimes with this tax strategy you're not going to be able to take down the clan castle so in the stone slammer we might have like a dragon or something like that we're also going to be saving a poison spell in the clan castle there's going to be some super minions we didn't take that down so let's see what's in a stone slammer and how we're going to deal with that we're going to be obviously starting off by putting down a poison and the super super minions are going to be hitting our, our lava hounds and so our balloons aren't really getting targeted, which is awesome. Our stone slammer is directly in the middle of the base right now. And both these super mains go down right now uh, from the poison spell. So all is well. If uh, it's a fresh hit, it's probably safer going with like a double poison. Because in case it's like a dragon or something like that. But in this scenario, uh, warden ability will get used right now. We had a dragon rider in the CC. That could have dealt with any clan cast troops if there were any. And if the stone slammer went in that clan castle troop area it can also be done with, like for the queen like that and so we have a lot of clan troops we still have a lot of balloons remaining and just like so that is a very beautifully done triple all the balloons are going to clean up the last couple of defenses and just like so beautiful triple done by only 99 percent for angel evils black beautiful triple last couple of buildings are going to go down and there you go. By the way, boys and girls, if you want to apply to X Empire, which is the clan family that I'm in, make sure to check them out and you can apply it link in the description box down below. There is an esports team so you can play in tournaments and stuff like that. We're currently recruiting Town Hall 12 Plus. In this uh, clan family, there's three clans. There's Ash Empire, Hawkwake, and Seal Team. All three amazing clans. Link in the description box down below. Make sure to apply to them. So let's watch how this guy, whose name I'm not going to try pronouncing, is going to be taking down the space. And this is more of a Sui Lalo kind of Zap Lalo. But honestly, Zap Lalo and Sui Lalo are very closely connected. They're very similar. And so if you're good at Sui Lalo, you're typically good at Zap Lalo. And so this attacker, he's going to be starting off by sending in his Sui first into uh, that top right ish compartment right there and he's gonna be taking out the enemy queen which is very dangerous towards your balloons you always want to take it out uh, if you can and uh, once again the clan castle isn't uh, being lured or being taken care of which is interesting because in many lalo lalo hits in general you always have to take down the cc this isn't the case but i want you to notice how much value that sui got it took down a multi it took down the enemy queen it creates some incredible pathing we're also going to be using our three light two lightning spells in the center of that base i don't even know what we took out i still have one lightning spell i think we took down air sweeper which is going to allow easier pathing for our lalo uh, and we also once again didn't take cc we're going to drop the poison on the cc again we, still, we once again have a dragon rider in the clan castle. We use our second lightning spell. I'm not entirely sure where. But this is another example. Or should I say another variation of Zap Lalo. This is one of those stack strategies. Where there isn't just one set army composition. Depending on the base. Every single time you attack a different base. Your army composition has to change a little bit. Because that's just how the attack strategy is. You know for this base. Using just three lightning spells was perfect, and for the last base, using six lightning spells and one earthquake spell was perfect. You want to look at what you want to hit down, but the important things are you take down the objective, you create some nice pathing with your lightning spells, and you get what you're trying to get. An important thing with the stack strategy is practice 
you're probably not going to be too good at the stack strategy if your Lalo deployment isn't on point because this stack strategy utilizes a lot of a high skill kind of uh, Lalo deployment. So when I said that this attack strategy is really one of those that you kind of have to change it on every base you hit, I wasn't lying. And as you can see in the troops available section, this attack right here has a log launcher and a whole lot of lightning spells. And he's gonna start off by zapping out like the whole interior having hardly any lightning spells left. He's after I think like two expos, the eagle artillery, um, some air sleepers I think. And by doing that, he created some incredible pathing. And now he's going to be using his king, queen, and two ice golems, uh, as well as the log launcher, to once again thin out the pathing even more and go into the base with the Sui hero. But I don't know if you want to call this a Sui hero. This is honestly more like a kill squad at this point. And so the log launcher is going into this base right now, destroying everything, clearing the path for the king and queen. Not entirely sure what's going to be inside of it. Poison Pal is going to be dropped on the CC. Notice we're taking it out this time. We're not leaving it for the Lao to deal with. And in the Log Launcher, we're going to have some Yetis. And now, notice by the Zap spell in combination with the Massive Kill Squad, and a Slash Sui Hero, and the Lightning Spells and all that stuff, notice the pathing it created in behind that the Lalo is going to abuse a bit later on. We also took down the Queen and the Clan Castle, so really there's not too many scary things that we have to worry about for this Lalo and uh, we can just kind of calmly send it in without having to worry about too much about too much things like the queen or the clan castle or anything like that i like the confidence of the, the attacker starting his Lalo on the opposite side of the town hall it's always great hasn't put down his warden yet which is interesting i'm assuming he'll put it at the top left just like so perfect and because he just has to take down that little corner and look at the pathing that's created for that Lalo. Everything you do before you deploy your Lalo is just preparation for the Lalo. That's all it is. And once you kind of realize that, you become much better at Lalo. Uh, but once again, this is another example of Zap Lalo. Uh, same deal as every other time though. Uh, but using a Log Launcher this time, which you can obviously do. This one with this app level in general you want to you know take out some objectives every single time uh depending on what those like, objectives are it can be clan castle it can be queen it can be those kinds of things always i suggest you take down the queen or the clan castle hopefully at least take down one of those and then if you're leaving the queen up bring some skeleton spells if you're leaving the uh something else up bring poisons and uh, once again that is a brilliant beautiful three star Thank you so much for watching, ladies and gents. I truly do hope that you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. If you're looking to join an amazing esports team or join an amazing clan, make sure to apply to X Empire. I will leave them in this the in a link in the description box down below. Apply for an esports team. It's so much fun. Anyways, thanks for watching and see you guys next time.